there, this is Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team, and I have a tutorial to share with you today showing you how to create this fun housewarming gift, and I absolutely love this die. I recently just got some new neighbors, and I love this die because it resembles the shotgun homes here in New Orleans, and I know a lot of other cities have shotgun homes too, but I love how it actually fits a K-cup in there. You can also put a gift card in there. So it fits quite a bit of stuff. And I'm gonna show you how you can create this little hanging ribbon at the top as well. So let's begin. For today's tutorial, I'll be using the Sizzix Box House from Where Women Cook. It's a really cool die, and all you have to do is run it through your die cutting machine two times so that you can get um, the three-dimensional house and roof. And you'll just need two standard cutting plates on the top and on the bottom, and then you put your pattern paper face down. And I'm using two different patterns for my house. I'm using this wood pattern on the bottom for the house base, and then for the roof, I'm using this fun red pattern up here. So you just run it through, I'll have to run it through four times. If you're using the same paper for both the, the house and the roof, just run it through two times. And the so here's what it will look like once you've die cut this. And if you are more of a visual person and you need to read it, there is a PDF attached to this die in the Sizzix.com store. So if you need more specific directions, you can go there. But what I'm going to do is set aside these two roof pieces and I'm going to stamp some fun flowers. I'm using a paper tray ink mini bloom stamp set. And I'm gonna use my pigment inks. I have some fresh ink and Memento Lux ink. And I'm just gonna stamp some flowers for a fun flare. Once you have everything stamped, you're going to add your Crafty Power Tape, which is a permanent double-sided tape. It's super easy, it just sort of tears off. And you can see that I've applied it to every single tab, except for the bottom tabs that are just going to fold together like a puzzle. So, following the directions on the PDF on the Sizzix.com website, I'm just going to show you how to assemble it. So that's how you do the house, and when you get it to this state where the top is open and the bottom is open, you're going to move on to the roof, which is a little bit more complex. For the roof, you're going to connect the two triangles and tuck that tab underneath and connect the two long triangles at the bottom, and you're going to make it into a valley. And then you're going to connect this loose triangle to that right there, that second tab. So it will start to form a roof. But before you connect that last tab, you're going to take some ribbon, and I have this Handmade with Love ribbon from May Arts, and you're going to create a loop, and then you're gonna knot it off.
and you're going to add that to the center of the roof. Like that. You want the angles of the house to match the angles of the roof. So you just can do one at a time. So here it is all complete. I put a little banner that says home sweet home and then I have these little buttons on the side. I'm keeping it pretty simple because I want it to be lightweight. Then you can stuff it with any housewarming gift card or candies or tea bags even. Um, K cups. Those are some fun ideas. Again this was Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team and I it was here to show you how to create this fun housewarming gift. Thanks for watching.